What's up everyone and welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Ford Ranger. Here at Best Car Reviews, I strive to bring the most accurate and relevant information in under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no wasted time. If that's something that's intriguing to you, then please like and subscribe so I can continue to grow the channel. Let's get started. The Ford Ranger has really kind of made itself known as a great option in the mid-size truck segment. Heading into 2024, we got a total new redesign, a couple new engine options, and a whole setup you know, ready to compete in that mid-size truck segment once again. And especially with the addition of the Raptor, there's a lot of exciting things coming your way. And if you're loving the design, stay tuned, because they're going to go through all the trims and key details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. All photos and information in today's video come direct from Ford. Let's get started. The 2024 Ranger will be available to you in four different trim levels. XL, XLT, Lariat, and of course, the Raptor. The XL will start you off at 32565. Raptor will start you off at 55365. So, across these four trim options, you have price differentiation, about 23K. So, a big difference there, and hopefully there's an option within that range that you'll love and you can afford. You know, $32,000 starting for a midsize truck at the base level is pretty hefty. That's the kind of the way we're going. These trucks have gotten bigger. They're definitely, you know, seems like they're the size of what full size used to be. And as with that, the price goes up, which is unfortunate. Engine options. Standard engine on the those first three will be a 2.3 liter inline four EcoBoost, 270 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque. But you can option in the more powerful 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost, giving you much more power. Well, relatively speaking, 315 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque. The torque increase is quite hefty. And that Raptor will give you a 3 liter V6, stolen from the Bronco Raptor, giving you 405 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque. So, a lot more power with the Raptor than certainly that standard engine. All will be paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission, said to be very smooth. When you look at the drivetrains, you can get those first three trims in this two wheel drive format as well as four wheel drive. Raptor, of course, four wheel drive is standard. MPGs, official numbers aren't out, but based off the engines, their estimates will be falling in the range of 19 city to 26 highway, obviously depending on which one you get, and uh, honestly what your tire setup is. If you get that Raptor, you know, you got some beefy off-road tires, it's going to knock down your MPGs. Let's go through the released pictures of this Ranger while we talk about the features. I'm curious to see this truck on the road because honestly, I think Ford totally missed the mark on design. I think the front end design is the main downfall. Just not feeling the headlight and grill design but maybe that will change and maybe once i see it on the road it'll change but honestly i think the current look of four trucks in 2024 seem to be less attractive than previous years in my opinion of course but it doesn't mean they aren't very capable trucks and certainly doesn't mean everyone shares my thoughts as well the ranger of 2024 has become two inches longer and two inches wider than the previous generation yes we all know what michael scott would say right now the new gen also has 1.5 more inches of ground clearance Super Crew Cab cabins are what's available for now on all trims. All Rangers, minus the Raptor, are rated to tow up to 7,500 pounds, which isn't stellar, but you aren't buying this truck anyway to tow your 20,000 pound yacht. Payload is rated at 1,800 pounds for the four-wheel drives and 1,700 pounds for the two-wheel drives. Outboard mounted rear shocks promote comfort and control off-road and on. Performance LED lights for superior night visibility and give you the power to blind everyone else on the road. Wheel options ranging from black to chrome and mostly offered in 17 inch size. The Raptor will want to compete with the likes of the Colorado ZR2, ZR2 Bison, the Canyon AT4X or the AT4X Edition 1, and even the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. To do that, it brings you reinforced box frame, 2.5 inch Fox live valve shocks, a Watts link rear suspension, locking front and rear differentials, which note on that, that is a significant uh, feature to have, that front locking diff that will certainly uh, increase its likelihood of competing with that competition very well. 33-inch uh, BF Goodrich all-terrain tires and optional beadlock wheels. Besides Velocity Blue and Hot Pepper Red, the color options are pretty dull and quiet. Package options include Technology Package, Ford Copilot 360, Advanced Towing Package, Advanced Towing Plus Technology Package, Off-Road Package, Sport Appearance Package, Chrome Appearance Package, and Trailer Tow Package. Obviously that combined 
towing and technology package will give you those features at a little bit of a lesser price than if you get them separately. The best bang for your buck, in my opinion, will probably be the XLT in combination with an exterior enhancement package, such as the Sport Appearance. XLT will give you all the truck you need while still being more affordable in the lineup and delivering elevated looks over the XL. Not many pictures out of the interior so far, but we'll look at what we have while we go through those features. The interior of this Ranger offers some great features. If you can look past the bland layout of all of it, uh, pre premium cloth front bucket seats are available and offered in black or sandstone. Those actually look pretty nice. Depending on how you buy, you can get an 8 inch or 12 inch digital gauge cluster paired with a 10.1 or 12 inch infotainment screen integrated with the Sync 4A system from Ford. Wireless charging is available. There is an embedded 4G LTE modem and that will give you updates on the fly. Uh, you know, just go about your way and your system will update on its own. Zone lighting and LED bed lighting features are available. Many camera features such as 360 degree view give you all the important angles around your Ranger. There's a power sliding rear window, single or dual climate control up front, as well as a 400 watt outlet in the bed to allow you to charge things and get some adequate power to anything that you need. Numerous drivers assist, technology and safety features available if not standard. Ford does set you up pretty well. Overall, I think the interior is a bit of a letdown as far as overall design. But screen sizes are great, materials and comfort is totally adequate, but the overall design bores me a bit, kind of similar to what the exterior is to me. But if you disagree, uh, that's great. You know, you don't have to listen to me. And I'd love to hear your opinion. Drop in the comments if you think I'm totally wrong with the design of the exterior and interior regarding this Ranger. Overall, guys, I'm seeing a lot to like about this 2024 Ranger, but a big deal for me is certainly the the design and when you're looking at the competition of this ranger the new uh, design colorados the newly designed canyons and obviously you know the jeep gladiator those are the big three going up against this gladiator obviously has that classic look that's been around forever but the new colorados and canyons are very very sharp looking and i think their design is way beyond this ranger and i think that will kind of knock it. Price points are pretty similar uh, when you're looking at the different trims and how they compare with each other. Base level trucks, they're all expensive. Um, you know, and I'd rather spend a thousand more on a truck that I think looks great than save that thousand and get a truck that I don't think looks as good. So this is a fierce competition. Midsize truck segment has really boomed as of late. The off-road theme has really stepped it up. A lot more people want their off-road truck. Uh, whether they take it off-road or not, they look sick and at least the Raptors in the lineup for the Ranger in 2024. So I'll be curious to see when this thing's on the road, what people like to buy, if we're seeing a lot of them, if we're not, and yeah, we'll see. Hopefully this video laid things out in a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Best Car Review. Please subscribe if not already. If you have an idea for a future review, drop it in the comments and I'll see what I can do, and I'll catch you on the next Best Car Review.